Hello, and as you've seen, we've been busy doing some jobs. We're now up to 68,623. On one of the jobs, the screenshot is a bit different because I dropped the controller, so I had to literally just quickly take the screenshot and get the picture from the corner, which wasn't fun. <laughs> With that field over here that actually needed fertilizing, uh, as you know, if you've watched my uh, Sussex episode uh, and this one as well, uh, my mother um, likes to play this game as well. So she actually fertilized them, but she was sneaky and uh, she turned crop destruction off. And she actually fertilized the fields. So I've actually turned it crop destruction back on. I've had to get rid of the map and the help menu in the corner. So, yeah, so the fields was fertilised, but my mother was sneaky about it. I did I did thank her for it, because she did actually fertilise the fields, but, you know, it defeated the whole purpose of us basically getting the workshop to get a tractor with fins or, or narrows. Uh, this here has been an absolute brilliant piece of kit definitely earned us a, a lot of money this has like that. but now our fields are ready to harvest uh, we don't have a silo unfortunately but um, I'm, I'm just gonna sell it whoa just a head the corner of that Jeez, that hurt. Um, the best price for this as it stands uh, soybean is the ranch 1671 per thousand litres not the best but we need the money so we're, we're gonna get it done we're gonna get all this harvested and start making some money oh, wrong side oh dear this really needs a clean again alright let's Keep getting started up. Hopefully it shouldn't take long to get these fields done, they're not overly big. Oh, wrong one. Straw is not available from soybean. Of course it's not. Why on earth did I try to get straw swap out of soybeans? Wow. I'm a different kind of special. Uh, I am looking into. I've been looking online, and apparently there's a thing called um, field flipping, um, where you buy a field, you get what you want off it, and then you sell it back at the same price. Uh, I don't know if that would work. You know, because when you get a vehicle, and then you obviously you sell it back you get you know a lower price so I don't know how it would work would it work with this, the same with fields um, I'm, not, I'm trying what is stopping this um, okay so we're gonna struggle really? I'm going to have to go at an angle, because this is just going to be ridiculously bad. Can you get up there? Come on! Yes! Let's lift the header and just get that bit behind us, and destroy all the grass. This isn't brilliant. But we don't really need the grass at the moment. Um. Apparently field 9 can be a good field for, for doing silage. Um, why is it just that corner? Probably just the way the ground dips. Um, so we could look into taking out a loan, buying field 9, leasing like, the mower and uh, the, the back butterfly mower, get the field mowed. 
and then um, get a baler and wrapper probably look at what's going to be the cheapest and cost most cost effective way either to buy the bait uh, to uh, lease the coon baler and wrapper as one unit or or separately we'll have to look into that well obviously that's a bit of ways yet we've still got our fields to get harvested and prepared because you know, this is the big, biggest field that we, we currently own and it's like one of the smallest on the map bar the, uh, the three that we have there because we have took trees out and we now do have the stump grinder uh, we could extend that field there could look into doing that making it a, a bigger field but then we'd have to um, lease a plough that can do uh, allow create fields because a subsoiler doesn't let you do it so that was an idea that I had um, or we could extend this field up there get rid of some of these trees just make it more profitable but with this harvester literally just struggling on that pace I don't know if this harvester will get up there it should do sideways like well, the way we're going now but going up this way yeah I don't think it'll it's like it's struggling now wheels are slipping um, yeah I'm just gonna have to go sideways across this turn the wheel Oh dear. Well, I was thinking about starting another episode, um, well, starting a f another series to go along this one in, uh, is it Felsberg? Uh, well, Gelsberg? So, something like that. Because um, I really, really don't know that map very well. I've played on it probably in my own time for about 10 minutes and then decided to you know, start an, um, a series on this one so I was seeing that loads of people were starting on Fellsburg I'm sure it's Fellsburg is it? Fellsburg? Oh, I'm not sure I, w I wouldn't quote me on it I'm not sure of most things nowadays Down. Oh, that last little there's always a last little strip, isn't it? Always. Come on, let's try and stay snug in the middle so we can get it. And then it's going to widen out there. Well, might as well just stay this side. Hopefully we make a, a fair decent amount of money off of this because uh, lately in uh, the last couple of episodes we really have been strapped for cash you know, having to do jobs for other people while Southfield's just sat there I have been looking a lot online as well about maintenance cost for vehicles um, you know, they can be absolutely extortionate and I've been looking and people are saying you know put the it, dirt on low because that affects your maintenance cost if you have it turned off you have no maintenance costs if you put it on low which is what I've currently got it on now it's not as drastic which is always good considering you know a while back we only had like two hundred and something dollars which uh, wasn't fantastic was it can't really expand a farm with that amount of money having to just 
make money off of other people's farms when we've got our own farm sat here kind of demeaning let's just stop that and we can drive over to the next field we'll get the headland across here and I'll quickly do it across the other one as well <laughs> can be a rather pain trying to reverse especially when we were struggling up that little piece on the other field I don't want to be struggling that one definitely won't be making it up there uh, making it up there anytime soon just reverse I really am happy that we are currently doing our own fields now they're <laughs> not massive we're not going to make uh, big amounts of money on, on this because soybean it's a good earner um, it's just not very high in yield we did get all the fertilizer states on them apart from the little piece that I destroyed and then my mother turning crop destruction off trying to help and seeing that it needed doing bless her uh, I do appreciate it <laughs> but it completely defeated the purpose of us getting the uh, vehicle workshop trying to earn some more money to get a vehicle we can put narrows on <laughs> but I can't fault her for helping so that's all good so my mother's over as you've noticed mother doing that field she actually has come over from Sussex farm now that's all been sorted and uh we now have a manager, we've uh, established a manager over there that's going to overlook everything over there. You know, my wife's really happy here now. As I was, I was saying previously, my wife is American. <laughs> so, she's just happy to be back in her homeland. Homeland, country, which, whichever you uh, prefer. That is annoying. Um, um, I've also been looking online as well, on well, and also YouTube. The the costs of um, you know, transforming the land, terraforming, is re ridiculous you end up paying as like as 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 much for what you the, the placeable you're buying as you do for the terraforming it's like you could have the slightest little angle on the ground and it's like it takes nearly like I saying as much as what you're buying you know just just to put a probably for example, if you wanted to put like a, a sheep pen down, <laughs> it'd probably cost you as much to trans to uh, terraform the land as it would the cost of the pen. So it's that's one thing that definitely needs looking at. Um, every now and again, the black screen tears. Um, it's not really an issue, it, it doesn't disturb my gameplay really. It's just that, 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 just that little niggly annoyance. But other than that, it's fine. Oh. I've been hit by the train about three times. <laughs> oh dear. You know, off screen you think, oh, I'll just quickly get across here. No. It's like, oh, I hope there isn't a train coming. What happens? The train's not basically right on you. And this, uh, Russell Mash will need her um, maintenance soon. It's been a good little servant. You know, it's, it's not got the biggest capacity out of the three we could have chose. The, the price we had but Ooh, don't want to destroy.
don't want to destroy any more crops. Um, the there really isn't much flat landscape on this game, well on this map, unless you uh, you buy a field and take out half the field just with the placeable items that you're using. It's not like here, there really isn't it looks like a big open area but you struggle to place anything down and the, the terraforming costs are just far too much, far too expensive that needs looking at but I won't carry on about that, I've already spoke about that that definitely looks better now than trees are out there need to get the stump grinder on those stumps over there Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Just destroyed a load. Wasn't paying attention. Oh, dear. Okay. My bad. Let's just turn the engine off. Oh, I can't believe I did that. And there was me saying about that little piece that I took out. Yeah, not much flat land, it's like all lumpy and trying to get anywhere to put a placeable on this area is just dreadful. Unless you put it like right out the way there, like smack bang in the middle of like an area that you actually need. It's ridiculous. Oh, there we go. And our first load of soya bean I'm so happy things on our field are actually moving forward progress <coughs> oh dear <coughs> too much of it I was debating before this episode should we sell the John Deere and I was sat there contemplating and contemplating and I'm like no no I'm not you know there's jobs out there for other farmers you know and it's the experience you get from just doing the jobs using other equipment nearly all the time I used my own equipment like the John Deere and the trailer and fertilizer spreader over there but it was just really nice to do other jobs let's get this moving I can't believe I did that one, look at that disgusting and and some good money, I think. You know, overall, I don't think we did too bad. Getting some money to play with, and then when we've uh, sold this, ha Ooh, don't get anything. When we've sold this harvest, I hope we we get some good money. The ranch is the best place, so we can just go up there, the little dirt road there, and along. So it's it's not like it's too far. It would have been nice if it was a restaurant, literally just down the road. But normally I would put it in storage in a silo. But you know, we just we need the money. You know, we like I was saying, the past couple of episodes we have been brassic, we've been basically skimped. We've had nothing. We've had four fields and trying to build up a farm. It's just been a real test, that's for sure. An absolute test. But we're getting there slowly, slow progress. Uh, we've took out a lot of trees. Oh, I hope this harvester can deal with going up here. 
I have no idea. Any wheel slip. We seem to be coping fine. Uh, we could extend this field up there. Yeah. It's our field, our piece of land, just make it bigger. We could always extend it out here a bit more. Uh, take that tree out, extend it down to here in front of us. I do want to take that tree out. Struggling to slip into reverse back up here. Probably not the wisest move to do, was it? Definitely lets a lot more light in, though. Move all those out of the way. They've definitely got the shadow in and everything like that's spot on with this game. Yeah, you couldn't ask for more, really. They've done an absolute brilliant job. Come on, get out the field, birds. Possibly a raven or a crow, I'm not sure. I think there's one in front of me just jiggling around in the field. Sure there was. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> Is this going to struggle go? I think this will struggle going up there. Come on, can you do it? Prove me wrong like everything else. Come on, you can do it. You have the power, Russell Mash. Come on. Let's do this. Yes. We did it. Get this piece. Background. and uh, get this piece done, get the trailer all uh, sorted and taken over to the ranch get our first lot of earnings from our field which will be really really nice we'll actually have money oh there we go again, look for the one strip of this done. The last little strip. Pure money. I'm just happy these fields were ready. There we go. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. That's all the fields harvested. Which is brilliant. There we go. There we go. Just about there. That's actually letting me close it this time. Hmm. Definitely needs a wash. Get that sorted out. We just need to see what we're gonna make from this. Is the ranch still the best place for soybean? Yes, it is. 1,671. Not brilliant, but we need to make some profit. So, on our way to the ranch we go. Down this bumpy little part here. Oh, 
Oh, watch out, birds. I'm still going to keep the vehicle workshop in case we do get another tractor, which we will have to. Uh, this one just simply can't have narrows, which is baffling to say the least. So I'll have to look at what tractors can have them, preferably a, a cheap option. Um, not sure if the Fiat can have them. The, the only downfall of that Fiat is it doesn't have a three point linkage at the front. I don't believe it does have a three point linkage at the front. Does it? Let's have a quick look. No, it doesn't. Oh, there's a Vulture. We have 68,000, that's only 65. Oh, that doesn't either. Really? But can it have narrows? Oh, oh, oh. Wheel weights, wides, wides with weights. It can have narrows for an extra thousand. Can this have narrows? Wides, where? Where? Rear twin. That can actually have narrows. And it's 150 horsepower. 150 horsepower for 59,000 or 100 horsepower for 65.6. Well, the no-brainer... Oh, and it's only 10 slots. The no-brainer would be the Fiat. Um, if you the, look, the next one close to 150 is 121,000. 102,000. Uh, the case 1455XL. Oh, the case IH, sorry. 1455XL, um, the Agro Star by Dutz Fair, 6.61. Um, oh, does this have du the Hillman? Oh, Hurleyman, is it Hurleyman? That has the three point linkage at the front. And at the back, can that ha oh that can have narrows? Oh, think we may just have found the tractor. It's not fantastic. But will it pull our subsoiler that we have? One hundred and thirty. Ah. What about our power harrow? Hundred. That can, but it doesn't have any weight at the front. And you can't add weight, a weight to the front of it. Um, can you add a weight to the front oh, of this? Why does it keep switch? Is that all you can have? Just the front? Why does it keep 500 kilogram pump weight? Um, what on earth is. Oh, wide with weights. But that can have narrows, but it doesn't have the front attachment. And it's not powerful enough. Um, and these are pretty, pretty hilly fields. Um, Agro Star, 143. Um, can it have narrows? It can. That's a lot of money. This just depends on what we get. We need to 
be smart with what we have because I really don't want to destroy any more crops you know that was a bit of a killer just destroying that bit you know how much could that have been a couple of hundred I don't know but can't really be destroying profits why did I go this way I could have gone down that, that side down there Oh, I know, it's just distracting. But we definitely need another tractor on the farm to help. Oh, let's just turn this way. Because uh, this, this is the the, the workhorse. Um, can't quite remember the, the power of this one. Um, 6230. Is that the medium? Six R no. I don't believe John Deere do small tractors. That's the seven series. It's the eight series. So it's gotta be sit this one. Sixty two R no. Sixty-two thirty R, two eighty. Sixty-two thirty R, two eighty horse. Yeah, this is definitely the most powerful tractor we've got. Definitely a very expensive tractor. Um, but it gives us the the capability of being able to to pull. You know, obviously not. You know what I mean by pull. I mean pulling trailers. Um. He can't only walk up to so someone and go, I've got a John Deere. Wanna ride? No, it's no. <laughs> oh dear. Um We we have the power capability to pull the weights that we currently need. You know, having this big trailer definitely helps. We're not having to do several trips with smaller trailers, which is definitely a benefit. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so we just need like a little workhorse. Whilst this is doing all the heavy lifting and the big jobs, just one just to do all like the small little things like seeding. Then we can run this one with the oh, the subsoiler and the power harrow behind it. Okay, moment of truth. What will we get? Come on, please be good. We got. Is that 23? 23,220. We actually got more than I was actually expecting. Which is very good. Um, not very, um, you think, oh yeah, you know, it's not much for four fields, but then again, you have to remember the size of the fields that we have, they're not, they're not the greatest of sizes, so I think we might just go to the store, get a plough and just make them bigger, but that's probably for another day, um, Oh, need to go to the store and get pick the stump grinder up that we have. Uh, drop this trailer off at the farm. Or we could always look into just getting a cheap tractor that can run the stump grinder. Oh, let's slow down. Don't really want to be flying off there. Here's a long way down. <laughs> I want to cause more damage to this tractor than I, I already have. Ooh, there, let's slow down, shall we? Ooh. 
that's a fair old drop that is definitely doing more damage to me than it would the tractor I should say flinging me around like a rag doll could always remove all these trees and bring that farm, that field all the way up here um, but then it's all about you know will that harvester get up there uh, that's the thing oh screens all over the place let's just pull this here up and out will the harvester get up there suppose we could you know, it, it, could drive, it can drive up the side here so I suppose, you know, get it up there we can start at the top, work its way down so what I'll do off screen is uh, I'll get all these trees out of the way like, I don't know if I can do this one, can I? Is it on my land? yes it is we can take this one out this, all, all that's on like this area we can extend this field dramatically I mean size of that to the size that we could have it I mean that's a massive difference you know we're still nowhere near the road the road is here we could come up to like here I mean well we'd have to work around this hill somehow and might not, but all these trees could come down. That is going to drastically increase our yield. Like even if we have the field come around here, you know, and down this front of this hillside. I mean, that's going to give us so much more field area. So much more. I don't know if these trees are on my land, are they? Are they this side of that little pathway or... Ah, they are. Well, that's in the way, isn't it? Could always take these trees out. Bring it across here. Yeah, and uh, down to here. Yeah. I think we'll do that. Well, that's the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We've got all our fields done. And in the next episode, I'll meet you outside the front of the store. All exciting now. We've got $91,844. Let's go and have a look at the store in the next episode. Till then, I'll see you later.